Hey, good morning. Happy Thursday. Rise and shine. Got some coffee? Enjoy a cup with me. Uh, we are dangerously close to the weekend, as R.J. Harris would say, from WHP Radio. 580, is it? Yeah, it's 580 on the AM dial. I listen at the uh, station quite often. Uh, if you get a chance, check it out sometime. R.J. Harris in the morning, all right? And then you have Ken Matthews in the afternoon from 3 until 6, 580 a.m. And you can also pick it up on iHeartRadio, all right? There's my public service announcement for the day. <laughs> ah, I am getting ready, getting pumped up here for uh, the Father's Day weekend. I am so looking forward to it. Uh, Brianna's going to be down there with me, and uh, her dad, uh, he'll be showing up, Sean Keister. Carol will be there, myself, and of course, Sir Prince, you know. So it should be a good weekend. Um, I'm off today. i got to go uh, to my eye doctors and uh, uh, have my eye exam and all that good stuff, and they got to put the eye drops in the eyes, uh, so the pupils can get real big. Well, I hate that part, you know. But, uh, yeah, I had to wait. Uh, what did Dr. Lou say? A couple months. Yeah, I think it was a couple months. It must be a couple months since I had my last cataract surgery. And uh, he says, you can't go for glasses yet. Give it a couple months. He goes, wait until sometime in June. Well, here it is, June, you know. So I uh, called my eye exam doctor, which is not Dr. Lou, but another doctor, uh, Dr. Uh, Michelle, her name is, nice lady, from New York, you know, she got that cocky attitude, and I love it, you know, <laughs> but uh, yeah, she got to check my eyes out, she's been real good to me, she's the one that uh, discovered all the problems I had way back, what's it been now, two years, three, almost three years, yeah, uh, she saved my eyesight for me, literally, uh, because I had so much uh, pressure build up on my eyes. Uh, she got in touch with Dr. Lou right away while I was sitting in the examining chair and said, look, it, I have a patient here that needs to see you as soon as possible. And, of course, the lady on the other end said, well, how about tomorrow? And she says, yes, that'll be fine, without even asking me, which was fine, you know. So then I went down to see Dr. Lou about all this, and uh, yeah, it was uh, it was pretty intense, but he took care of it. That's enough of that babbling, I guess, you know. Have some more coffee with me. Ah, I got my new Cape May Point shirt on that I got down there at uh, Cape May Point. It's a nice shirt, but um, I'm a little disappointed in it because uh, I got to buy a Larges and extra larges, right? And this one here, uh, even around the the uh, sleeves, one sleeve is nice and, you know, it's got room. And then the other sleeve is kind of tight, you know. Of course, these aren't made in America, you know, so I don't know. <coughs> I'll get one or two wearings out of this, if that. And then uh, I'm sure it'll go to uh, Carol because it'll shrink down when she does the wash unless I want to cut the sleeves out and I can walk around like Mr. Muscle Beach you know hey look at grandpa over there trying to be act like he's Muscle Beach <laughs> alright enough of that babbling um, I got no bad news you know which is a good thing uh, life is going along pretty good here and uh, I'm very happy with uh, what our president is doing. I don't want to get into too much politics, but I'm happy for what he's doing. Uh, he's moving right along. So uh, keep him in your prayers and thoughts, right? That he continues to do the right thing for all the citizens of the United States of America. All right, folks, one more swig, and then I got to get all cleaned up here and go see uh, Dr. Michelle. Cheers in Australia. All right, you guys have a great day today. I'll talk to you later on. 
And if anybody else out there wants to join me down in uh, beautiful Cape May, New Jersey, uh, get in touch with me, and uh, we'll make it happen, okay? All right, folks, take care. I love you guys. Honest to God, I do. We'll see you later on. Keep on smiling.